I think all of us are longing for places to celebrate resonance and to feel accompaniment. All of us need this. And the challenge of loneliness is pervasive. We are all um, uh, struggling with how to make sense of the complex challenges that we're facing. Um, and it is impossible to do that alone. We need each other to build each other up. We need each other to gain perspective on the issues. I would even suggest that so many of our pathologies and so many of our uh, um, interpersonal challenges or uh, burnout comes from an inability to grieve well. Because right on the other side of grief, when you grieve well and you're able to do it uh, with others is our, our love, our love of beauty, our love of connection, our love of each other, our love of the earth. And it is that love that is, um, that is bubbling up when we're also feeling that pain. So what does it look like? Um, I have encountered folks who have come to experience the shows who are uh, overwhelmed with emotion and uh, relief to have a space where grief can be honored, where they are invited through that process. We hold uh, our grief in a very strong way within our productions but every production ends with a live drum and dance party. So there is a cathartic and joyous uh, release and response to that deep, heavy work that we've done together. I am holding this question. Um, can the, the faith world, can our communities of faith be uh, light, um, be a place for uh, retreat and uh, support through the storms that we are facing with our ecological and our social crises and our cultural crises, uh, can the faith world be relevant and uh, a, pl a place for inspiration? I believe the more uh, these faith communities can be relevant to our ecological and social crises, the, the more um, uh, hope we have for weathering the storm and uh, maintaining our humanity and our connection to our deepest sense of, of what is valuable. And I also believe that the faith world has a lot to learn from artists and activists in order to have both the creativity um, and the courage 